Hey challengers, welcome to the Pio Challenge Group. I am super excited to have each and every one of you here. And over the next 60 days, I plan to teach you how to not only make exercise a part of your lifestyle, but to help you create some new habits, to help you look at food a little bit differently, to help you look at food as fuel and not as comfort. I hope to provide you with some tips to stay motivated, for ways to stay on track when there's temptations in life. You know, you might be like me, and you might struggle with late night snacking or sugar cravings or, you know, just when you're around other people, not knowing how to say, no, this is my plan. I want to stay on track because I'm trying to create a new lifestyle. And so my job is going to be to teach you the things that have helped me in my fitness journey to be successful. And hopefully Hopefully they'll help you as well. So here is how the next 60 days are going to go. Over this next week, I am going to help you to create a meal plan, figure out, you know, the ins and outs of Pio and the workouts. We're going to write our goals and share them with each other. Yes, we are going to take our pictures. We're going to take measurements. You don't have to share them publicly in the group, but I do want you to share them with me or with the coach that invited you here. I know that everybody hates taking those before pictures. Trust me, I felt the same way. I actually took those pictures and then I hid them in a folder, in another folder, in another folder on my computer so that if anybody got into my computer, they would have a very hard time finding them. But I will tell you, the one thing that made the most dramatic difference for me visually was when the scale wasn't changing as fast as I would like or when I would look in the mirror and I would say to myself, man, I look the same or it's not happening as fast as I would like, I would compare those before pictures and my progress pictures and I would realize that I was changing way more than I could see. Because when you see yourself every day in the mirror, you just don't see it happening. But trust me, those pictures will be well worth it. And even if you're never planning on sharing them publicly, I just want them to do it for yourself. Also, the next thing I want you to do this week is we're gonna really embrace the meal plan. So get out your pie out and start checking through the eating plan and start leafing through it. You know, I would really suggest that you figure out, you know, what is your calorie range? Where do you fall in here? And check that out, write that down. And then go over and start to review each list and say, okay, what primary vegetables do I like? What secondary vegetables and grains am I going to eat? I will tell you that eating from the top of the list is going to be way better than eating from the bottom because they're ranked in nutritional value. Also, start to jot down things in your in, in this meal plan that you like. Start making a grocery list. Start clearing things out of your house that tempt you. For me, Oreos and chocolate, they have to go. So really start to take a look at what you have. Don't worry, I'm going to break this down for you. I'm going to help you to simplify this as we go on. But these are just some of the things that you can start to do at the beginning of the week. And what this week is going to do for you is it's going to get you focused on nutrition and on your goals so that next Monday when we push play on our very first PIO workout, we are confident with every area. Now, it's okay if you get behind on a workout. It's okay if you have a bad day with your nutrition. It is okay. Life is going to happen. Bottom line, show up, do your best, and every single week we aim to change one thing. We try to be a little bit better with our progress, and I guarantee you, your body will change over time. But look, we're not striving for perfection. It's progress that we want. It's challenging yourself. It's each and every week saying, can I do one more push-up on my toes? Can I hold plank for one more second? Can I sink down a little bit lower into the pose? And can I mentally tell myself that I am worth it? I deserve change, and it does not matter how long it takes me to get to my goal, I will get there. And it's consistently showing up every single day over time that brings about results. Trust me, you're going to question whether or not you're meant to change. You're going to say to yourself, I think I'm just meant to be this body type forever. You're going to say to yourself, this is not worth it. I'd rather just do what everybody else is doing and have ice cream or cookies or cake. But, but trust me, it is worth it. Having more energy, feeling confident in your skin, wearing the clothes that you want to wear, not worrying about hiding your trouble areas, they're worth it. 
in the end, all that hard work you put in is going to create a lifestyle for you that you can share with those that you love around you, that you can help to encourage others to make changes, and you are going to live a healthy and fulfilling life. That's my job here as your coach is to help you transform your life. So what are the requirements? Check in every single day. Doesn't matter when. Check into the group. Be an active participant. Ask any question that you can possibly think of that you want answered, and I will be there to support you in this process. So welcome to the Pio Challenge Group. Glad to have you here, and good luck in your very first week.